Hey YouTube, today's video is going to be a short one about the reaction between elemental bromine and aluminum. So in the test tube there I've got probably half a milliliter of liquid bromine and to that I'm going to add some crinkled up aluminum foil and we'll see what happens. This reaction is interesting because there's a bit of an induction period before it happens. That's uh, partially because it's very cold out today, uh, but also because the bromine has to eat through the aluminum oxide uh, layer that's always on the outside of aluminum. Gorgeous. See there's a little piece of aluminum still in there zipping around. It kind of looks like sodium on water, how it, how it beads up and flies around on the surface. The white smoke that was produced was aluminum bromide. And it's anhydrous aluminum bromide too because it's just from the union of the elements. Okay, now I'm going to neutralize the products by uh, adding some sodium thiosulfate solution. This is actually pretty interesting in itself and uh, was quite surprising the first time I did it. <laughs> okay. That was even more surprising. <laughs> so, the uh, reason that happens because the aluminum bromide is anhydrous. So adding water to it reacts, uh, let's say, vigorously. <laughs> this is really cool. Uh, after the, the reaction, it looks like there's splatters of aluminum all over the place in here. So um, I guess that reaction was enough to make the aluminum molten, which is pretty amazing. 